Seattle faces legal action over its vote to introduce a measure to tax the rich. One America's Connor Howe has more on the controversy in the Pacific Northwest. Nine in favor, none opposed. Many Seattle residents applauded the city council's unanimous decision to impose an income tax on high-earning residents. But now, city lawmakers face a major lawsuit over the controversial tax code. A conservative think tank known as the Freedom Foundation sued the city over what it's calling an assault on the law. The suit, filed on behalf of 12 residents, argues the city's plan to tax the rich violates the state's constitution. They say the state of Washington already imposes strict tax levies, forbids taxes on net income, and requires cities to get permission before taxing residents. Under the new legislation, those earning $250,000 or more or married couples earning twice that would be required to pay a two and a quarter percent tax on their income. The Freedom Foundation suit is one of three which have already been filed in response to the new legislation. Another group suing the city, the Opportunity for All Coalition, says the measure is misleading, claiming it will also affect middle class residents who sell their homes or businesses. The lawsuit claims the proposed tax on the rich sets a dangerous precedent claiming the council had no authority to impose such a tax without putting it to a popular vote. Washington State's Republican Party called for civil disobedience in response to the policy, urging members to refuse to comply, file, or pay. It's illegal, it's unconstitutional, and it is against the will of the people as they have expressed themselves nine times in, uh, at the ballot box. Officials believe the issue could be taken up and resolved by Washington's Supreme Court as early as 2018. Connor Howe, One America News.